I honestly didn't even realize the stuff that I was learning and teaching myself was so powerful and could lead to a career. It was just a hobby. And I almost feel like I was living a double life because I really didn't tell many people about it. People just knew I was spending hours on the computer. They didn't know I was doing all this. Welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jashelle, and this channel is about sharing my tech journey. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in the content here, as well as interested in following my tech journey. In this video, I'll be sharing how I got into coding. It was back in my teenage years, and I believe it started with me wanting to have my own website outside of social media. And for no reason at all, it was just out of genuine curiosity. I really wanted to know how, and at the time, the social media platform MySpace was very popular. And I I wondered how I could make my own website. I remember Googling how to make a website. I found something called Yahoo GeoCities, which actually no longer exists in present day. And it was free to set up. It had drag and drop features and I would spend hours and hours and hours just playing around with it and exploring this new world of possibilities, essentially. It was a new world outside of MySpace, obviously. But then a while later, I got bored with that. There was just no reason for it, no purpose for it. I think it was just a static page with my name and just some very random stuff. I can't remember much. I just remember it having a baby blue background and that's about it. From what I remember, it was summer and I was just bored with nothing to do. And figuring out how to make a website was a cool thing to do. Alas, this was just the beginning of my very long journey to here. Because when you learn something like setting up a website, most times you want to actually do something with this knowledge. In a previous video, I'd mentioned that I was gonna talk about how I built a fan site for one of my favorite Disney Channel stars, Raven Simone. So in comes actual purpose for this newfound discovery of how to make a website. At the time, there were lots of fan pages for Raven because she was extremely popular at the time because of her show on Disney Channel, That's So Raven. And I love the show so much that I decided to start one as well. So I did more research because Yahoo GeoCities wasn't the best solution for this. Because the free version from what I remember was super limited. And keep in mind, I was a teen living at home doing this as a hobby. So I discovered something called freewebs.com. And this was also when I first discovered website templates. I thought it was so amazing because the site actually looked pretty professional. So I built a fan page for Raven using a template. I created some pages. I had a way for fans to interact with each other. I had news about Raven and just things you would see on a typical fan site. And over time, I would have regular visitors of the site. And it actually became a community. And then I got bored with that. Somewhere along the way, I wanted to learn even more. I wanted to learn how to make my own layouts because templates started to get limited and boring. I eventually discovered HTML and CSS. I actually met a few Disney Channel and Raven fans online who had fan sites as well, and they helped me learn this. I developed friendships online with people who I even still talk to today. They would send me code and show me how they built their layouts. And eventually I was able to pick it up based on that. No courses or classes or anything, because still, this was just a hobby. I just wanted to learn how to build my own layouts for my Raven fan site. I wasn't trying to be a professional or anything. I'd just grown out of my current process. Over the course of some months, I'd eventually taught myself HTML and CSS, how to use a photo editor to create layouts. At the time, I was using a very old program called Photo Filter, which is actually a very old program, but eventually I learned Photoshop. I learned about domain names and hosting. I learned FTP, just all kinds of developer stuff. I honestly didn't even realize the stuff that I was learning and teaching myself was so powerful and could lead to a career. It was just a hobby. And I almost feel like I was living a double life because I really didn't tell many people about it. People just knew I was spending hours on the computer. They didn't know I was doing all this, which is why it wasn't too hard for me to bounce over into this career later in life. And thanks to archives.org, I was actually able to pull up archives of the fan site. So this is what it looked like, I think, before I just completely gave up on this. Archive.org doesn't load everything completely. Like some things are broken and missing, obviously, like CSS and images, maybe. But I had a lot of fun experimenting with different designs and coding out different layouts for the site. Like I think this, this was supposed to be for Halloween one time. And I'd built like a little media gallery. And then these are just some other designs that I created way back when. 
And I dropped these in the description if you're interested in checking them out. I made a video recently about meeting Raven back in July, and I actually got a chance to tell her about the site. Unfortunately, she never got to check it out because of course it's gone now. But hopefully she sees this video and gets an opportunity to see how she was a big part of my journey to where I am now. Even though I already told her in person, but this video goes much more in depth. But she was a huge part of that time in my life. And of course I still keep up with what she's doing. But if you're watching this Raven, I hope you enjoyed this. And questions for viewers. How did you get into coding? And what kind of projects did you build starting out? Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know how others started. That's it for now and see you later. Bye bye.